guys. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw something related to rockets. And then I remembered that I read this article when I was like 10 years old. And it showed you how to make rocket fuel or a rocket out of just pasta. So I remembered that and I decided I'm going to come out here and I'm going to try and replicate that. So I don't really remember it too well. What I do remember is I need to find a way to make pure oxygen gas and have it flow through this little pasta so the pasta burns. So I knew yeast was involved in the making of oxygen gas, but I didn't know what else. So I looked around in my chemistry materials and in my cabinets and stuff, and I saw some hydrogen peroxide. And I know that has oxygen in it, and it is easy to release either hydrogen or oxygen gas from it. So I'm assuming that if I put yeast in it, that maybe I should be getting hydrogen or oxygen gas. Hopefully oxygen, because I do not want an explosion right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole into this container right now using just a screw and a driver. I just want it to be a small hole, only a little bit bigger than the pasta itself. This is not the most effective way to do this, but it did work. And now I can probably just pull the screw out. So now I have a small hole in the center of my lid. I'm going to open the jar and grab some hydrogen peroxide, and I'm probably going to fill it up most of the way, because I'm going to need a lot of oxygen gas for this to work. In retrospect, I am now realizing that maybe I should have just taken the lid off. It probably would have been a lot easier. So I've just grabbed the spoon, and I'm going to be opening this yeast. I have about this much yeast on my spoon, and I'm just going to put it in there and mix it in. It should start bubbling pretty rapidly, and that should be the oxygen gas being released. I'm just going to set this cap on lightly so I do not have any chances of building up any pressure and having the glass explode. Now I'm going to grab a piece of pasta and set it right over top of this little hole right here. I'm going to be grabbing a lighter now and trying to ignite this pasta. So as you can see, the pasta catches on fire pretty easily. This is because the oxygen gas is allowing the pasta to burn a lot easier than it should. If I grab a piece of pasta and try and light it with this lighter, as you can see, it is pretty hard to ignite pasta. Even when I'm holding it for this long, the pasta just doesn't burn. So I have grabbed the straighter piece of pasta and I secured the cap better. And as you can see, it is definitely creating a very vigorous flame. The release of this oxygen gas should actually last for a good 20 minutes or so. 